The Sun is a giant star that can be found at the heart of our solar system. If we didn't have the Sun's massive amount of energy, there would be no life on our planet. Scientists have figured out that our Sun is around 110 times the diameter of the Earth. This means that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the Sun. The outside of the Sun is over 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. However, that's nothing compared to the core, which can reach more than 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. NASA have said that to match the energy the Sun produces, you would have to set off 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. Recently, NASA announced that a massive solar storm hit our planet in the past. It's thought this occurred around 2,500 to 2,700 years ago, and it's believed to have been 10 times stronger than any solar storm we've recorded in the modern day. According to researchers, these solar storms did used to happen quite often. In fact, it's only due to our magnetosphere that we're kept safe. This protects all life on Earth from most of the particles the Sun emits. Going back thousands of years ago when this massive storm hit our planet, it would have caused radiation issues. Another issue in today's world is the exposure of spacecrafts to these particles. They can shut down electronics and other systems. This high energy could hit our planet at any given time. Scientists have said that our planet is always at risk of being hit with these particles from space. It's interesting to note that these particles are one of the reasons that we see incredible lights at the poles. On the flip side though, although they can look spectacular, they are damaging, messing with GPS signals and radio waves. During early February last year, there was headlines that suggested a solar storm was going to cause havoc around the world. It focused on the fact that our communication system would go down, and this would lead to us not being able to communicate via telephones or computers. However, scientists said this was a big exaggeration. The reason it didn't do damage was because this solar storm wasn't a powerful one. Interestingly, researchers have said that no large solar event has happened during a manned space mission. However, between the Apollo 16 and 17 mission, a large event did happen, but there was no manned mission during this time. If an astronaut was exposed to this solar event, it would have caused radiation sickness. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.